Sandbridge has one of the largest enrollments in its history. I spoke with Susan Coyne and John O'Brien on the increase on the student body this year. Our enrollment is already higher than it was a year ago at this time, and I think the effects we've seen already have been positive ones. That there are more students mm -hmm. to for, for both new and returning students to make friends with each other, and it makes the classes I think a little more lively if we have a few more students in mm -hmm. there with the with the teachers. So I think those are I think socially it's really positive. I'm very happy with um, the way that the old students have embraced the new students. Everybody seems to be getting along really well, um, and it just it's just a really um, kind of, to me, exemplifies what Stanbridge is all about. It's a very warm and welcoming place. As part of Stanbridge, I welcome the new faces to a safe haven for students and teachers alike. Attention sophomores and juniors. On Wednesday, October 14th, Stanbridge will be having a practice SAT test. The test is not mandatory, but it's recommended for anyone taking the SAT which is required to get into a four-year university right out of high school. If you are interested, please contact Susan in the front office. Aaron, Matt, and Eric are offering new after-school sports at this year at Sandbridge. Aaron and Matt are coaching the cross-country club, and Eric is coaching the dodgeball club. So this is the first year that I, that I know of, so we are going to put together a team of runners and based on how they do, we're going to compete and try to make them uh, quicker and try to beat their goals in terms of time. Aaron and Matt are going to hold the track meets against Star Academy and Stern High School. They hope to race against other schools as well. Cross Country started on September 30th and will meet on Wednesdays. The long term goal for Cross Country is to run, is to train for endurance. Uh, we're just going to condition the best, that best athletes that we can. Uh, we're going to try it for the first time, and uh, I think Aaron and I can motivate the students. It's a lot easier to run in a group than it is to run on your own. you got to push yourself, but we're all here to push each other appropriately, and, you know, let's, let's hope to have a fun season. Aaron and Matt hope that students in cross country will compete against other schools as a team. The great thing about dodgeball and cross country is we're going to compete against other schools like ours um, throughout the Bay Area. Eric is offering the first ever dodgeball club. Practices will be in the Maryland Lynch Center, formerly known as A2. Dodgeball started on September 28th and will meet every on Mondays. I think it's going to offer Stanbridge, uh, you know, a good um, sports program, or a different sports program, uh, where kids can learn different skill sets. Um, and not only that, but also uh, integrate with other schools, where they'll be um, find, you know, making new friends at different schools and, and giving them an opportunity to uh, play with different schools. Eric expects the team to face against Star Academy in a dodgeball game and hopes to pay, play against other teams. Recently, junior high went to Wolf School. We asked them to share some of their favorite moments. So our junior high team just got back from Wolf School and it was a full three days. My favorite part of the trip was yesterday during our team building. We did a lot of team challenges and we, our team kind of struggled in the morning but by the afternoon the 8th graders were leaders to the 7th graders and there were some people that really let, go, let down their guard and they allowed their trust to be in others and it was beautiful and we got to accomplish a lot of challenges. Probably the ropes courses, probably because uh, I enjoy doing active stuff outside. My favorite part of the trip was the night hike. It was dark out, we got to know each other, we learned things about each other. That's where we picked our nature names. 
My favorite part of the trip, I guess, was spending time in the outdoors with all the students and stuff. Uh, usually, you know, we're in a classroom with them and we don't see that side of them, but being in nature and spending more time with them, that was the best part of the trip. And thanks to the staff and students for making it a great trip.